back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collective haul. Now before I start I just want to say that obviously my hair is different. I've had my hair cut and recolored, and then um, there's a blog post about it on my blog if you want to read it. Um, but I might do some sort of hair videos on it now that it's so different from what it was before. Um, but yeah, it's not a trick. I have had my hair cut. I've been thinking about it for over a year and finally... I just thought you know what I'm just gonna do it so I did and yeah I had it done yesterday so it's all pretty new to me I'm still trying to get used to it but um, I really really like it so far um, so that's that and the other thing is that this haul is over about three shopping trips um, so it's not all been bought at once and it's sort of all bits and bats but I'm gonna try and put it all in one video um, because I know you love watching hauls and I like filming them so um, let's get started so the first thing I have here is from Debenhams, actually from Warehouse, not Debenhams, but Warehouse in Debenhams. And from the Trafford Centre, it's just this plain um, stripey t-shirt, quite oversized. And this was in the sale down to £5 and then they gave me student discount and got it to £4. So that was a really, really bargain this t-shirt. So I picked that up from Warehouse at Debenhams. Then I have a couple of bits from Forever 21. Um, pair of socks, these were a pound at the till and I just thought they were really really cute, they've got ice cream on and they are mint green and then I got, well my mum my mom actually bought me these, um, two headbands um, the first one is kind of like a braided suede with a gold um, like bead thing running through it and the second one is a black suede sort of plait with the same sort of gold bead and this one was £3 and this one was £3.15 so I got those from Forever 21 next I have some stuff from Boots and I picked these up because Estee in one of her favourites mentioned these and they're the coconut milk um, shampoo and conditioner I bought these actually before I had my hair cut but I knew I was going to get it cut so um, these have got protein in to help strengthen the hair and coconut oils for hydration and balance and they were on three for two at Boots. I also picked up the coconut milk um, anti-breakage serum so I think they were 6 99 each so um, I got them all on three for two um, so it's those. Next is stuff from Shoe and the first thing I got was some um, half insoles for some shoes I got from Urban Outfitters that are a little bit too big for me. Um, so I got those and the second thing from Shoe, or the main thing from Shoe, is a pair of the um, Pharrell Williams for, I never know if it's Adidas or Adidas, I don't know, um, but the Pharrell Williams ones and I, um, if you haven't seen these before they're like 50 colours of trainers and I went for the purple ones. I was stuck between these and the orange but I went for these in the end but don't you just want them all? Um, they're just a classic um, trainer but they're all one colour uh, which I love and on the back it's got embossed Pharrell Williams and the insole is quite cool actually. Um, so that's those, I have worn these already, um, they seem pretty comfortable and the front is rubber but I just think they're really really cool and they're a nice statement piece especially for me who doesn't wear much colour, um, however there is colour in this haul. Um, I thought they would be really really good. They were £67 but I got a student discount off them so they came to about 60 I think. Um, so yeah I was really really pleased with those. Another pair of shoes, these are from Primark and these are some sandals and they are like flip flops. They're metallic blue um, with a sort of black cleated sole and they're just quite simple, quite plain. But I really, really loved the metallic blue and I thought they were really nice. They seemed pretty comfortable. And these were £8, so yeah, such a bargain. Um, oh, I should have said actually, I got the um, Pharrell Williams trainers in a 7. I'm normally a 7.5 to 8, but the 8 was just huge on me. Um, so I got a 7 in them and these are in an 8. I could have got the 7, but I thought for summer when it's hot, um, I'm better with them slightly bigger. So I got the eight in those. Um, new look, uh, just one thing. I've got some more Primark stuff but I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, that was all I got on one Primark trip. 
another pair of shoes these are more for like work and stuff because they're a bit smarter and they are these mint green um sort of loafer shoes i saw these last time i went shopping like before all this and i really regretted not getting them because um they're just quite nice to make outfits look more spring like and they're a really really beautiful patent sort of mint green color haven't worn them yet they were 19.99 and then i got a student discount so they were like i think they were 17 pounds yeah just really really nice for spring and i thought they would be a bit more colorful since i wear so much black i will show you the other primark stuff now first thing is a new phone case which is this one it's another pug one and this has got a pug wearing flowery sunglasses um, on a background of flowers and i just thought it was really really cute it was two pounds but i thought it was cute uh, the second thing, I actually bought these because when I was out it was sunny. Um, they're a pair of sunglasses. I actually really, really like them. Um, and I needed some new sunglasses. They are these ones. I will try them on for you. Um, I think they're quite nice, actually. I, I never normally wear sunglasses because I usually wear my glasses. But if I'm wearing contact lenses, um, I'm really, really bad at squinting. So um, I pick these up. I think they're quite cool. I think they look way more expensive than the £2 they wear. And yeah, I just really, really like them. So that's those. Um, and they come in this little like sort of flimsy piece of fabric case thing. Which is quite good for £2. Um, you can't really complain. The next thing is a bag. And I bought this um, to actually put the shopping in. Because I was going to the hairdressers and I didn't want to be um, faffing about with those annoying Primark carrier bags. And it is a canvas bag and it just has an E on it. Which is the first letter of my name and these bags are just coming really really useful for stuff you can use them for storage or like files and stuff um putting things in if you're going away not that i am but if you are uh, shopping all sorts of stuff these bags i have so many of these um but i just use them all the time next this was from a different trip to primark but i'll show you and it's a t-shirt that has this sort of hamza hand thing these was one of those you know this folded up t-shirts in Primark they're always really fitted so um, I got this in the biggest size just so it would be nice and oversized um, because I really don't like fitted t-shirts um, I just rather have them loose and casual and I thought that was really really nice print it was quite cheap how much was this um, three pounds so yeah complete bargain but yeah if you want to wear t-shirts like um, sort of relaxed fit like I do I'd recommend just sizing up like a couple sizes in these or just getting the biggest one because I just think they look better um next is a dress ignore the hanger it's one I borrowed off my mum and this is a black polo neck jersey very very plain very simple sort of long t-shirt dress it's about knee length um haven't tried this on yet actually and it says Melrose Avenue, the place to be Los Angeles, which I thought was really, really nice, quite minimalist. Um, I got a size up in this again so that I could wear it as a dress in the summer, so it would be a bit longer. Um, but yeah, it, it looks pretty much oversized anyway, it looks huge, but I thought if I got a bigger one it would be slightly longer and I could probably get away with it as a dress um, rather than just having to wear it with leggings all the time, so that's that. And the next thing, I've been looking for a yellow raincoat for a while now and I've seen some in Warehouse, there's some on in Topshop, a couple in Urban Outfitters, but they are quite expensive, they are about £60 and I don't know if I wear it enough for that. But when I went in Primark and saw this one, I knew I had to pick it up. Now I realise you can't see it very well, um, but I will try and do some outfit pictures on my blog with this. This was £18, I got it in my normal size and it's like a patent sort of yellow plastic, I really really like this, it has a hood and the back, um, I don't know if you can see, it's got like a little fastener on, it's really 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 nice coat and it, it looks a lot more expensive I think than Primark and it's got like silver detailing and it's lined with white and I just really really like that. So that is my yellow raincoat. I'm really, really happy that I got it. Happy that I found it. And yeah, that's everything from Primark now. 
Um, moving on to Topshop. I only have two things from Topshop. The first one is a shirt to wear as like over leggings. It's really quite long. You could probably wear it as a dress or you could wear it with some skinny jeans. And it's this really, really soft. I like these really, really soft oversized shirts. They're really comfortable. And this one is grey, navy, blue and like an off-white. And I really, really like it. It has a pocket on the front and these sort of brown um, buttons. I just thought this was really, really nice. It was £32, so it wasn't cheap, but um, it is better quality than sort of Primark. And I just really like the fit of it, and I got it. And the second thing is a pair of shoes from Topshop. I saw these um, a while ago, actually, but they didn't have my size in the black, and... I tried them on in the grey and they were nice but I just thought I wouldn't get the wear out of them so they are these shoes and they are, I'll just show you one, they're kind of like a boot sandal hybrid um, so they have like a strap across the back and the, the ankle area is kind of open and they're like a boot but they have an open toe and I thought these were really really different, um, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I just thought they were really really nice, they are £35, again I got a student discount in Topshop but that's the price and I just thought they were really really nice. I got these in my normal size again and I just can't wait to wear them. I've not worn these yet, they've still got the tags on and everything but I really really like them. Next on to H&M, I had a voucher for H&M from Elle magazine for 20% off um, so I made use of that um, yesterday actually and the first thing I picked up is this necklace it's very very simple and it has a gold sort of long bar thing on. This was $3.99, obviously less 20%. Everything I'm going to show you is less 20%, but I'm just going to tell you the price on the tag. Because I'm not that good at maths and that's that necklace. I don't have many like necklaces that I wear a lot. Um, a lot of them, I get bored of necklaces really really easily, I don't know why, but um, I just thought I'd get a couple for spring. And this second one was £6.99 and it's like a rope, um, gold and white beads. I thought this was really, really nice, quite chic, quite minimalist still and it will go with pretty much everything I wear. So that's that. And on to the clothes. First thing I got is this skirt. Now this I could thought would be nice for work or casual. It's got an elasticated waist with like a non-elastic panel at the front. And it has these big um, loose pockets and it's just a midi length skirt. It's a navy blue colour, it looks really really nice on, I know it's not really been done justice at the minute. Um, it's on a random hanger as well, as all these things are. And I just thought it was really really nice, quite chic and I tried it on actually and I really really liked it. I don't normally like skirts on me. But I tried this on and I liked it and it was £24.99. These are both the same thing. Um, again, ignore the hangers. Um, these are shirts and they are really, really like thin. You can probably see me through that, but really, really thin, oversized, really, really soft, nice shirts, and they were £12.99 each. Really, really nice. Again, you could wear these casually or um, a bit smarter for work. And the second one is my favourite because it is giraffe print and I love animal print so um, that was really really cute and this is a white one as well which you, you all know I like monochrome and I just thought that was really really cute uh, this is going to be incredibly difficult to show you but there are some these are from Next and they are dungarees I have no idea how to show you these on camera but they are basically black um, dungarees and I've rolled them up at the bottom because these are insanely long um, they only came in one length um, and I have to size up in any sort of play suit, um, dungarees, jumpsuit, anything else because I'm really long bodied and otherwise they don't come up high enough on me so I always have to size up to get them a bit longer or get them in like a tall range but because of that um, I have to roll up the bottoms quite a lot but I quite like the rolled up look, it makes them look more 90s, um, so yeah, really really nice. I will try and do an outfit picture with these because um, I have literally no idea how to show you them, but all the buttons on them are black 
and they fasten at the sides with buttons which I think is a bit more vintage, a bit more elegant than um, a zip. So those from next, they were £35. I've worn them already so I've taken the tag off and as I just said I have no idea how to show you those on camera because they're awkward. Um, I also have no idea how to hang them up because they're just so long so I think I'm going to have to store them folded in my wardrobe. Yep, that is everything that I've bought um, so far for spring. Um, I might buy some other things, I don't know. I think my student loan final instalment is about to arrive soon so um, if it does you can expect, expect another haul from me but um, yeah I've got a, another couple of shopping trips planned for my Easter holidays. I'm on holiday now from school and stuff so that's why I've had um, time to go to the hairdressers and shop and things. So I really hope you enjoyed this haul, um, please let me know if you did and tell me what your favourite thing was um, that I bought maybe and yeah if there's any videos you want me to do or anything maybe with my hair now it's different or makeup videos or whatever then just let me know and as always please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.